guys, it's Huff. I am back again. This is going to be part 8 of my makeup collection. We're going to look at this little container in here. I'll swatch some of it, probably not all of it, because there's quite a lot in here. This is basically all lip type products. So um, I also will leave a playlist in the description bar for the other seven parts if you're interested in having a look at all of those. So let's get started on what is in this box. Uh, where to start? We'll start with the lip liners. There's a few of them. So I have this one from Nikki K. Um, it's in like red, red right there. I'm sorry if the light is a little funky, it is in the evening time at night. Um, I have, I probably have some others, but these are two by Enoxa. These are both nudes. Um, this one here is Mocha Rush, and this one is Neutral. These are the twist up type. So, neutral is a really neutral colour. And Mocha Rush is basically just a tiny weeny bit darker. They are so super similar, those two. Uh, I have a few of these. We have others elsewhere in my collection, but I have these three LA colours. None of these have got names on them. This one is a fairly neutral one. This one is kind of plummy browny, and this one is more plummy purple. But they're basically all just fairly basic pencils. I have a Jordana Quick Lips liner in Wild Orchid. Which is a really awesome purpley colour. I have this one by Crown, which is in Fuego, which is basically a red. And also by Crown is this one, which is called Cappuccino. Which is basically just a fairly basic neutral nude type one. Um, these are both the same. These are satin lip liner in rosewood. Uh, this one is clearly being used a lot more. Um, <laughs> this one is on my list of things to use up next year. Um, as is this one. This is a lip liner. This is from Kmart. Um, doesn't actually have a brand. It doesn't. It's in the colour nude. But it's another one that I would like to get rid of. I'm thinking I need to concentrate on all my short ones, or ones that don't have much in them. This one is one of the NYX Auto lip liners. This one is in Y2K, which is actually a really dark brown colour. It's super duper dark. It looks a bit chunky and crusty. Sorry, something just flew on my arm and freaked me out. <laughs> I have this Maybelline one uh, in Toast, which again, just a neutral. I have lots of neutral lip liners, I realise. Um, I have this one here from Carvago. This one is in Sophisticated. It's quite a dark, um, plummy kind of tone. I have a Rimmel Exaggerate lip liner. This is in Rich. Uh, I don't even think this has even been used. In a fairly nice neutral colour. If you can hear or see something buzzing around, there is a fly or something that has decided that now is a good time. 
Um, here's another one from Anoxa. This one is in ruby red. I'll put that next to the other two Anoxa. So it's very nice. Red. I have this one from Mona Lisa. This is in number 115. It is just a Barbie pink. Probably the only Barbie pink I have in my collection. Um, this one is from Designer Browns. This is in Fuchsia Rose. It's a sort of pinky colour. Oh look, there's a fly on me. It's like midnight and there's a fly on me. How wonderful is that? Um, I have this one from Duce, which is in 463. This does not have a colour. This is apparently waterproof. But it doesn't have a huge amount of pigmentation. That was really hard to do. Um, it's quite a stiff pencil. Um, obviously haven't used that one on my lips or I already know that. This one's from LA Girl. This is one of their Endless Semi-Permanent Auto Lip Liners. This is in Movilis. Which... Yeah, reasonable colour. I uh, have this one from Ofra, which is in Orchid. She's really similar in colour to the um, LA Colors one. Yeah, that's really similar to the LA Colors one in uh, Movilis, this Ofra one. So that's interesting, didn't know that. Clearly I swatched these a lot next to each other. Um, another LA Colors one. This is an auto one rather than one that needs sharpening. In um, Pinky. And it is just a pink colour. Seriously, this fly is bugging me something fierce. I have one MAC lip liner. This is in Trust in Red, which is kind of a pinky kind of red. And the last one is from Besame. This is their double-ended one, although both colours are actually the same from what I can work out. So this is one end. This is the other end, and I don't know, maybe they're slightly different, but they look like the same colour to me, which seems really weird. Maybe this one here is slightly more purple, but um, yeah, they're the, the lip liners that go with the lipsticks that I have. So that is all my lip liners, and then I have a whole bunch of chunky crayons. I have this one from Ulta 3 in Pretty Affair, which is just a red... I have this one from, I don't even know what brand this is, this, I think this came in like a magazine or something like that, it's in pink sherbet, so I guess it's like a pink colour, I have an LA Colours Chunky Lip in Orange Cream, I actually quite like this because I like orange, but these pencils are super duper soft, the LA Colours ones. I have this one from Jing Ai, which is actually, it's really bright red. Most of these crayons I found are like super duper soft. I have this one from Lacquer & Co in The Boss Lady, which is like, concealer lip, can you even see it? It's like right there. It's concealer lip on me. And I have this one from Lacquer & Co, which is in a colour that I don't know what it is but that's a much more wearable colour for me I have this one from So Susan which is supposed to be a plumping lip tint in black currant oh, that's actually a really nice colour I like that I should try wearing that one I don't like how far up it sticks though on its own. Um, 
I have this one from Revlon which is one of their matte balms in sultry so that's actually a really nice colour I did well picking that one I have this designer brands one in doll face pink which is just a basic nudie pink I have one from Mirabella which is in red velvet which is a really awesome bright red I have one from Crew Kiss in I have no idea what colour it's all written in Korean or something but it's just a fairly basic but very frosty it's like right there um, peachy sort of tone super duper frosty I have this one from Lord and Berry um, it doesn't have a oh yeah it does fire and fire so it's not like an orangey red and then I have this one which is in sensual which is spelled completely wrong which is more of a rosy sort of colour I, I, I like both of them for different reasons um, this one from Hikari which is in Mandarin um, oops, mix it in with the other one um, it's just more of a pink orange than a true orange which I think is weird for Mandarin this one from BYS which has like a lip gloss on this end and then it has a sort of lipsticky thing on the other end in a very neutral oops, neutral sort of tone it is in nearly nude which, yep, that's that pretty much covers it. I have this one from LA Colors, which is in rose. And then I have this one, which, as you can see, got a bit mangled at some point. Um, this is in deep red. I have this one from Maybelline Color Drama. This is one of the ones I got from Tamara. This is in Fuchsia Desire, which is a really nice bright pink. Really like that. I have this one from Nika K, which is in very red, which is actually quite a deep dark red with a bit of shimmer to it. Um, another one from Designer Brands. This one is in Guava Kiss. It's basically just a peachy kind of tone. I have this Lacquer and Co cheeky lip which I was trying to pan during the year and didn't quite get there because there's only like a sample, there's only like that much left of it. Um, this is in Humble Brag. It's just a very basic nudie kind of pink. I have this one from NYX which is one of the jumbo lip pencils. This is in Chestnut. Which, you know, nice enough nudie kind of colour. Although nudes are not really my thing. Um, this e.l.f. matte lip colour in tea rose, which I was also trying to pan at some stage. And never really got there because it's just, uh, they take forever for me to get through. But it's, it's about as nude as I normally go. This colour right here. Because um, I'm so pale, nudes don't really look that good on me. Um, this one is Mission Impossible Lip Marker. This came out of a Mimi box. Um, it doesn't actually have a... Oh, I think it's supposed to be in Mary. But it's a pale orange colour. And then there's this one, which also came from a Mimi box, which is in neon orange. And it comes out almost red on my lips. It's so orange. It is definitely orange. I actually really quite like it. It lasts really well on the lips. Um, and then I have this one from Sally Hansen in 
nude and natural. I had another couple of these. I think I gave them to my daughter that were like pink ones. And then I have three bite lipsticks which I got from Tamara J. There's this one in rhubarb, which is that one there. Uh, this one in winterberry. And then I have this one in pomegranate, which clearly has been used a lot less than the other two. It's very, very bright red. So that's all of those ones. And then up the back of this box, I have one of these double-ended chapsticks, the day-night one. So it's night on one end and day on the other one. I haven't actually even opened this. I took it out of the packet and that was all I did with it. I have a Carmex jasmine green tea moisturizing lip balm which again i haven't even opened i have this eco lips eco tint in rose quartz another one that i haven't even opened like the seal's not even broken on this one um i have this revo lip balm in tangerine again has not even been opened I have these two lip balms from Natio. This one is in Fun. They're both tinted lip balms. Um, and this one is in Smile. I haven't actually used those. I have this Elf Soothing Lip Balm, which I've used like a couple of times. It's in Vanilla Cream, apparently. I have this lip balm from More which is in Marshmallow, not my favourite scent. Um, I've used it a little bit, I'm not really super keen on lip balms in tins, but I will eventually get through that. And I also have this one, which is in my favourite scent from Grace Cole. This is Pineapple and Passion Fruit. And as you can see, I've actually used quite a bit of that one, because um, I really do like the smell of that one. Um, I have this Calvin Klein lip paint, uh, lip gloss in a pot thing. This one is Gold Ultimate Edge. It's a sort of dark berry, plummy kind of colour. I have this Lip and Cheek Rouge from Designer Brands in. A colour with no name. No idea what colour it is, but that's what it looks like. Sort of a dark nude. I probably wouldn't use it on my cheeks. There you go. I've got this Mary Kay um, Pink Pagoda Lip Lacquer, which is basically a bright pink with a blueish flash to it another one that I need to work through. And the last thing in the box is not, oh, I missed a lipstick. The Maybelline Color Drama, I knew I had another one in pink, so chic. Just funny because it's, it's not really pink at all. <laughs> but that's apparently what name it is, which is bizarre. Um, but this is a Versace Crystal Noir Eau de Toilette which I got in a beauty box subscription or a red purple or something. It looks gorgeous. It's the cutest little thing. Um, I'm not hugely keen on the fragrance, unfortunately. It's a bit too musky for my liking, but I will use that up. So that is everything that is in that particular drawer. I will again be linking the rest of the playlist down below for all of the other parts of this collection uh, if you want to subscribe press the little button down below don't forget to press the bell so that you get notifications when i upload leave me a thumbs up if you like makeup collection type videos and leave me a comment down below i try to respond to all comments and i'll see you in my next video see ya